Akshada, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to tell you about the possible reasons for getting 401 unauthorized errors when using an AWS Lambda authorizer and show you how to resolve them. Let's get started. Amazon API Gateway can return 401 unauthorized errors in a variety of scenarios. This video addresses only a 401 unauthorized response returned by API Gateway without calling the authorizer lambda function. When an API Gateway API with a lambda authorizer receives an unauthorized request, API Gateway returns a 401 unauthorized response. For token-based authorizers, the error generally occurs when a required token is missing or invalidated by the authorizer's token validation expression. For request parameter-based authorizers, the error generally occurs when configured identity sources are missing, null, empty, or invalid. First, let's review the configurations for the token-based Lambda authorizer. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the API Gateway Console. Choose your API. Navigate to the Authorizers pane. I have configured an authorizer named Token Authorizer. Check the value of token source. This value must be used as the request header. I have set the token source as authorization token. If you entered a regular expression for token validation, then API Gateway validates the token against this expression. For example, if you entered the regular expression as highlighted on screen, only token values with five character alphanumeric strings are successfully validated. Now, let's test this authorizer from the API Gateway Authorizers console page. Choose Test. Choose Test without giving any value for authorization token header. We receive a 401 unauthorized response code because authorization token is empty. Now, let's enter a value that's not valid for the authorization token, such as ABC123. Choose Test. We receive a 401 unauthorized response code because ABC123 is not a valid 5-character alphanumeric string and therefore doesn't satisfy the token validation expression. Let's review the token-based Lambda authorizer code. In this code, the caller named user is allowed to invoke a request if the client supplied token value is allow. Now, let's enter a valid value allow for authorization token. Choose test. A 200 response code is returned, indicating that authorization is successful. Let's review the configurations for the request-based Lambda authorizer. Navigate to the API Gateway console. Choose your API. Navigate to the Authorizers pane. I have configured an authorizer named Request Authorizer. Check the configured identity sources. These can be headers, query strings, and stage variables. I have set the identity sources as header1, query string1, and stage variable1. Let's test this authorizer from API Gateway Authorizers console page. Choose Test. Choose Test without giving any request parameters. We receive a 401 unauthorized response code because request parameters are missing. Let's review the request-based Lambda authorizer code. In this code, a request is authorized if the client supplied header, query parameter, and stage variable all match the specified values of header value 1, query value 1, and stage value 1, respectively. Now, let's enter valid values for request parameters. Choose test. A 200 response code is returned indicating that authorization is successful. You can also test your API using the Postman client or curl command. Remember to deploy your API after making any changes. So, now you know about the possible reasons for getting 401 unauthorized errors when using a Lambda authorizer and how to resolve them. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.